Muy buenas a todos, soy Mariachi. Bienvenidos a otro capítulo de este Pilares de la Tierra. Ayudadora contra el trabajo. Vamos a ver. Esto será un castillo. No sé si tiene, no sé si tiene muchas ganas de hablar, Alfred. The Lady Aliena thinks there will be an attack. Here, go find Tom and tell him. ¿Dónde está Tom? ¿Dónde está Tom? En teoría esto por aquí. Corta, bueno, es la carta esta. Carta fecha 25 de diciembre de 1135, Lady Alian. Aguardo nuestra unión con, nuestro, con gran entusiasmo. Mi padre es uno de los hombres más ricos del país y el vuestro es el conde de Seirin. Juntas nuestras familias tendrán un poder sin igual, pero no debéis sonrojaros ante el inminente enlace, mi lady. Estamos hechos uno para el otro. Mi padre está construyéndonos una vivienda. Vos cocinaréis, limpiaréis, recibiréis a nuestros invitados y cuidaréis de mis caballos. Vuestra recompensa llegará a las lar en largas noches sin fin. William Hump. Bueno, será de mucha ilusión. We have followers all over the south of England. Of course. You're the Earl, after all. A title doesn't guarantee anything, my son. I don't understand. Is that why you sent all those letters? I see you're opting to become part of the furnishings. Well, grab any corner you like and invigorate it with your presence. It would make us all a very, very happy. Oh yeah, you're very happy. Ah, he's here. What's going on? He's here. Lady Aliena is expecting an attack. An attack? So the Earl is planning to go to battle. That's very helpful, Jack. Now, why don't you help me find some damage to the castle? The Earl might not want to fight if his defenses are in bad shape. Torres, a ver. Vamos a ir hablando con la gente que, que dice. What is it, boy? You just want to stand there and stare. All right then, let's see what you've got. Are you a knight? No talking. Had to be cheating. Ah, 
I reckoned you'd be as ballsy as your ginger, but my mistake. Another time, perhaps. Cheers, lad. Hmm. Muy raro. O sea, tengo que encontrar destrozos. por aquí, tío. <risas> y estoy dando la vuelta, mira que bien. soon why are you asking all right let me tell you a secret can you keep a secret what color is your shite boy color excellent looks like you can keep your mouth shut after all you want to be in on the real deal now and just say the words what's your bloody secret cat face What's your bloody secret, Catface? Well put, boy. Well put. But bloody it is. We are all going to fight soon. It's for a thing called loyalty. See, all these knights are loyal to one man, and he is loyal to another. And he then is loyal to yet another, a woman, who is the rightful queen of the English. For some here, loyalty's all about coin and favors and power. But for me, it's all about whom I trust, whom I follow all the way to hell for all the right reasons. Going to hell together with confidence and trust. It's what's holding this world together, boy. Ah. So, you understood my little secret? No. Good. Do you need a mason? Me? <laughs> Well, these battlements could use a fresh stone or two, but apart from that, I don't know a bloody thing about building, and I don't want to. All I care about is a good sturdy wall and some hot tar to keep my enemies warm. That reminds me of a story. Wanna hear a story, boy? Well, you see, I'm not just one for a good solid tarring. But back in my day, I was also quite the stealthy bastard, if I may say so. So this one time, me and my men lay siege to this castle. While both sides rested for the night, I took my crowbar and swam over to the enemy. There was this piece of wall where the mortar had gone away, and one could easily look through the holes into their courtyard. So what did I do? I smoothly tore a hole with my crowbar and snuck inside. Then. What you want to do is hit them where it really hurts. And that's not always the groin. In this case, it was their old well barely standing up. So, one kick, and all its rocks tumbled and covered the hole. From then on, they were without water. The shortest siege in the history of sieges. And not one man died. All because I had an eye on the wall and made good use of that well. That's what knights do? Knights do a lot of things, lad. How did you end that siege again? I looked for a wall where the mortar was gone. And I kicked in their ramshackle well. Easy. Are you a knight? I'll be damned if I wasn't. 
would have risked my life for nothing if all I was supposed to do was bake bread. Be warned, lad. Get a job that pays. Not one where you have to pay for a new horse every time someone kicks your ass. Being a knight costs you, especially when you're also a drunkard. Y me imagino que es peligroso. Ah. Hmm. Why don't you go and find Tom? He can tell you a lot more about this place than I could. Ah, no, tengo que ir a buscar. Es la onda, vale. Eh... ¿Qué es? No tengo ni idea, tío, dónde quieres. Porque encima no me puedo ir. O sea, con tomo otra vez. Pero es que no lo tengo nada claro. Ni un fool puede ver que estos buildings need work. The Earl's not worrying about his stalls and his kitchens, he'll be worrying about the upcoming war. You can build castles? Well, if I have the money and the people, yes. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll show you how it's done. Hmm. What do you need work for? It pays. You buy shelter and clothing and you don't have to starve. Not everyone can live in a forest, boy. No? No. People need to be around people. And for that, things have to be set in stone. Like the laws in towns, or rents, or wages. If everyone did whatever they liked, things would get very bad very quickly. Can't you work somewhere else? Not if we want to eat tonight. They refused you. Oh, just because work really falls into one's lap, that doesn't mean there is none. I'll give this place a look over while you tell your mother to be patient. What are you looking for? Something to convince the Earl that keeping things the way they are won't do for long. It could be something small, like washed out mortar or a loose column. Now I need to see the hole before I can carve the rock. Tengo que trabajo, tengo que buscar cosas que quieran ser. Vale, pues eso. Ah, vale. Bueno, lo que tenía que haber hecho antes. You just keep an eye out. And if you see something I can fix, let me know. something talk to me Tom wouldn't find work here Ahora se los muros, vale. <coughs> vale, ahora parece que ya se empieza a ver uno de los muros parece más condiciones, guardar, venga, más. con él a ver qué There is a wall without water. If that's true, you have a very keen eye. Now, see if you can spot any more damage. Oh, ingredio más prima.
esto. Ahora vamos para allá otra vez. Visto lo visto. Cada vez que encontramos una cosa hay que decírsela. Pero bueno, vamos para allá. Más. invitados, no hay nada este con este he hablado 30 veces ah, oh, mira venga, vamos the battlements are broken I noticed that already well, that should do for now yeah, stay sharp Did a very good job, son. Now come along. You deserve to see if it works. Look, I'd like to give you work, but we don't need you. I just hope you're not expecting a siege soon. Why do you say that? Your defenses are in bad repair. Be specific, man. The mortar in your walls has come away in places. This leaves an opening for a crowbar, and once there's a hole, it's easy to pull the entire wall down. Qué jodido Cristo ese. Yeah, the keep has an undercroft with a wooden door. If I were attacking the keep, I'd go through that door and start a fire in the stores. And if you were the Earl, how would you prevent that? I'd have a pile of stone ready shaped and a supply of sand and lime for mortar. And a mason standing by ready to block up that doorway in times of danger. Matthew, may I have a word with you? Es un negociador nato. Tenemos trabajo. Well, we have a home for now. You know, This is all thanks to your son, Ellen. What did he do? He did what you were supposed to do. He kept an eye and an ear out, and finally helped me convince the Earl. Grab your things, everyone, and follow me. It's time we put a roof over our heads. And thus, Tom Builder had finally found work. Little did we know then that it wouldn't last for long. de conspiración, lograste pedir ayuda al obispo Valeron, confesaste el pastel de Francis de los Valeron, entregaste a Marta tu caballo de paja, tu caballo de paja para ayudarla a ser fuerte, <coughs> llegaste a Arcas junto a tu nueva familia, obviaste que Arcas estaba hambriento y, pa y parece que jamás os llevaréis bien, me suena de coño, te ganaste la confianza de Sir Kate y descubriste su secreto, le hablaste la del padre de Jack, encontraste una carta y dónde está Tom, bueno, vamos a ir un poco más. It's good you sent your brother to tell your flock in St. John's about your nomination. If you'd gone yourself, they might not have let you leave again. There is a good chance I will return to St. John's after the election today. Why so pessimistic? Many of the brothers still want Remigius to become prior. Philip. Yes? There was an incident with one of our novices. What kind of incident? Remigius caned him. He was bleeding all over. He could barely walk, but walk he did. He called out for him, but he did not turn around. He never looked back. He ran away? He 
is not the first. And it wasn't the first time Brother Marcus was punished either. Brother Marcus? Yes, he stole my keys and food. You reported him to Remigius. Maya. I did, but he is practically a child. <sighs> Remigius really goes too far. Last year he hit a novice. The poor soul became Ooh, dead. Dead. <laughs> <sighs> Tell me, Philip, what will be the first thing that you do when you're elected? must not cane our novices. No, no, we must not. Deus caritas est. I remember that I found words carved into wood in the mill. A brother named Thomas wrote them. He wrote about canings as well. Thomas? Yes, he left as well, over a year ago. It was the same as with Brother Marcus. Remigius. Yes. I will talk to him about it, no matter if I'm elected prior or not. You cannot go in there. What was that? Who are these people? Hey! Step back. Step back, I said. What is going on out there? Soldiers? Did they start a war again? Those fools. Philip! It's Francis. They have Francis. Francis. They said they're looking for someone. They were questioning some of our brothers. Is happening here. Return to your brothers, monk. We'll question you soon enough. Guerrero? They were questioning our brothers? Yes, in the prior's house. What is happening, brother Philip? I intend to find out. I'm afraid these soldiers are looking for your brother. He has just arrived. Two of them followed him into the cloister. No, no, no. What's your name? It would be easier for us all if you just came with us. <laughs> what about the child? Is it yours? <laughs> Francis. Like it or not, you'll be coming with us. We were looking for you. You must be mistaken. What are you doing here? And who is... Who is that? I found him. In the woods. Hey! Hey! We fed him goat's milk in St. John's. Johnny ate goat's milk. He says he misses you. He was always very sentimental. Hey! Philip, you must not tell these men my name. My Lord Robert of Gloucester believes me to be in Winchester. I gave the letter to the bishop. He said he'd help. May God have mercy on us. I was wrong to send you. What is it? These men are with the bishop. He is here, in Kingsbridge. The bishop is here? 
Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. What? One of the Ten Commandments. Do you not know them? No, oh, save your words, monk. Do you not know of heaven and hell? <coughs> I do. I know of them. I know of heaven and hell. If you know and still go against the word of God, you will not be saved. Not heaven awaits sinners, but hell, the lake of fire. We'll take hell then. No. No. William. What is your name, Mark? I am Philip. Philip of Gwyneth. Hm. It's him we're looking for, not the other one. Monks, they all look alike. We were looking for you. Bishop Whalerun wants to see you. Oh. We found him. He's here. Tell the bishop. I found the monk. The bishop. Tell the bishop. Go on, monk. We'll all keep an eye on you. You will be safe. <laughs> <laughs> what you wish? Don't let the bishop wait. Well, we'll see what happens. Y iremos acabando el capítulo aquí. Philip. There you are. The right Reverend Bishop Whaler and Bygoth. Philip and I are already acquainted. You were looking for me, my bishop? <coughs> I was. Remigius, Philip does look distressed, does he not? Yes, he does. Tell me, what is on your mind? Soldiers have invaded the Priory. Invaded? Oh, of course. I have gotten too used to the presence of knights and nobles. The work of a bishop. The reason why these men are outside right now is your letter, Philip. <sighs> As I suspected, it did convince my allies to go against the Earl of Shiring. These allies of mine insisted that their knights should accompany me along with their son. And very soon, they will ride against the Earl. I understand, my bishop. Philip, I have the feeling that there is a storm rising. Right here, in Kingsbridge. And in the eye of that storm stands one man. Around you, things... things begin moving. Don't they, Remigius? Yes. But there is one important thing you have kept from me. There is? My bishop! You did not mention that you, Philip, were nominated to be prior of Kingsbridge. I... The brothers here will elect their new prior today, will they not? The election will take place in a few hours, my bishop. We need a strong prior. James was my friend, but a strong prior he was not. 
We are in agreement on these matters, are we not, Religious? Of course, right, Reverend. Uh, the Bishop and I agreed you should have this. El Rosario, Rosario del Prior James, fue hallado por el Prior Remigius en el río, cerca del lugar donde se cree que el anciano Prior de Cris cayó en el hielo. A día de hoy, el sepulcro de James permanece vacío. Lo más probable es que las gélidas aguas arrastrasen el cuerpo del Prior río abajo. Los monjes creen... Los monjes creen eh, eh, aquí que algo persiguió a James, conduciéndolo hasta el hielo, en la madrugada del día de Navidad. Hay quien piensa que fue el mismísimo diablo, pero ¿quién puede saber con certeza lo que ha acontecido? Supuestamente no había nadie en el río aquella noche, aparte del propio prior. Felipe recibió el rosario de 1136 de manos de Remigius y el obispo Walleran. El obsequio fue entregado como muestra de confianza y buena fe en el día de la elección del nuevo prior de Cambridge. Muy bien. Ahora, cuando tus distinguidos guests arrive, What will be the subject of your first sermon as the new prior of Kingsbridge? I think what I would talk about is... I beg your forgiveness, but I do not understand. Most of your brothers agree with me on this matter. Remigius has talked to them. They will vote for you. As will I. And I will support you in your duties in my role as... <laughs> no hace mucha ilusión, me parece. A role you have fulfilled wonderfully in the past, Remigius. Wonderfully. My bishop? Philip of Gwynedd. You will be the new prior of Kingsbury. Pues nada, me ha tocado. In humbleness I stand before you, most humbled by your trust and humbled by the great tasks ahead of us. We must restore Kingsbridge to do justice to the glory of God and to his mercy. The desperate and the hopeless everywhere shall hear our bells. They shall see our towering cathedral. Our great church will become a guiding light first and foremost through our actions and our faith we ourselves shall be this church a light to the lost the hurt and the suffering on their path to god the earl of shiring is not in attendance it seems he is not shameful he's busy preparing his siege on winchester I trust he does not know we are about to foil his plans, Percy. Answer the bishop, my husband. No, no, he does not expect us, not at all. My men are ready. So is our son. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Bueno, 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 tenemos un nuevo prior. There you are. What's the matter? Did I have a father? Yes. Everyone has a father. What happened to him? He died before you were born. How could he be my father if he died before I was born? Babies grow from a seed. The seed comes out of a man's prick and is Una gran explicación. <laughs> Sencilla, clara y directa. And when it's ready, it comes out. Why did you never tell me? About father, I mean. I needed you to be older. Trust me, once the time is right, I will tell you everything. I promise. What was my father's name? Jack, the same as you. They called him Jack Sherberg. So, if there's another Jack, I can tell people that I'm Jack Jackson? <laughs> you can. People don't always call you what you want them to, but you can try. What is that? Jack, find the others, then hide and don't come out till I tell you. Oy, oy, oy. 
Cuando nos hemos acabado ya dos capítulos, tus acciones fuiste elegido prior, cuando eran cumplido su promesa, sus aliados, los jamines serían Scarstel, William Jamie se sintió intimidado cuando mencionaste el infierno. El hermano Marcus huyó tras ser azotado. Bueno, pues vamos a dejarlo aquí. Yo creo que es un momento para acabar el capítulo. Veremos qué nos depara. Ya sabéis, un buen like, un buen comentario, una suscripción. Sed buenos. Nos vemos.